don't yet know the full extent and the systemic and structural changes which will happen. However, we do know that global energy systems, food systems and supply chains will be deeply affected. Welcome to the year 2030. Welcome to my city, or should I say, our city. Boy, the uh, conspiracy theories are coming fast and furious these days. I can't keep up. I don't own anything. I don't own a car. I don't own a house. I don't own any appliances or any clothes. Uh, what we're talking about here is uh, a kind of distrust of the institution. In our city, we don't pay any rent because someone else is using our free space whenever we do not need it. My living room is used for business meetings when I'm not there. It's important that we look at what's happening right in front of us. Shopping? I can't really remember what that is. For most of us, it has been turned into choosing things to use. Sometimes I find this fun, and sometimes I just want the algorithm to do it for me. It knows my taste better than I do by now. Control your soul's desire for freedom, it says. Any effort to succeed at delivering on the sustainable development goals. My biggest concern is all the people who do not live in our city. Those we lost on the way. Those who decided that it became too much, all this technology. Those who felt obsolete and useless when robots and AI took over parts of our jobs. I get annoyed about the fact that I have no real privacy. Nowhere I can go and not be registered. I know that somewhere everything I do, think, and dream of is recorded. We want to be a very tra transparent organization. 